What's it like being married to a wizard? Well, I'm not really married to a wizard. Oh, I'm course. engaged to a wizard. How long have you been engaged? 1992. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem that long ago, actually. He turned up at Melbourne University in May, I think, in 1969. Ian, how do you get to be a wizard? I'm a self-made man, actually. Stop! What? Before it's too late! And was on the front page of the paper, bouncing around on a pogo stick with a fur coat and a bowler hat with a lily in it. And I remember distinctly saying, you do see strange things at university. And eventually, you can just go straight up. I was brought up in Melbourne. Catholic school girl, head girl, loved school. I was a good girl, yeah. And then in 1970, we were introduced. Well, she, she was a starer. There are some people who stare at you. And Alice was definitely curious about what the hell is this guy up to? I was curious. I mean, he was interesting to talk to. So it sort of just developed, had nice shoulders, developed as we got to know each other, really. You chased Jack? No, I don't Not think I obviously. chased Jack. I didn't chase you. No, just moved in a bit quietly and... So it's a subtle process. They're very, very subtle. subtle. Very subtle. Very subtle. Well, Jack's 19 years older than me. I was 19, he was 38. Some people were not very impressed that by the age difference, but they either got used to it or, I mean, I didn't particularly care what they thought anyway, so. Not living in Melbourne was not my idea. Jack did not like Melbourne, and he had been to Christchurch briefly and really liked it, liked the square, and he thought that he could make a good life here in Christchurch. Jack was very popular after he made his claim to the square, really. He had big crowds there, daily, lunchtime. They were big crowds. You had a loincloth, I think. Yeah, that was sometimes. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, and like, no, I was 17, no, no, no. I was like, my God, I've never it seen... It was more of a sackcloth. It was, oh, the, sack um, cloth. You know, it was, it was a cloth. It was a cloth, anyway. Just over the shoulder, Where down to there. Where did you get it from? You just Alice like... made it. Oh, you made it. <laughs> he liked it best when he was sort of baited by uh, some rabid evangelical that would really get him going. The government department of statistics is out to get me! because they don't believe I vanished! People accuse him of saying he casts spells, it's evil, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what he does, but he was asked to do a rain dance and it rained. He did one in Waimati, where it'd been a drought, and it rained. He did one in Auckland, and then he did one in Tamworth, in New South Wales, with been terrible drought. He did his thing and they sloshed water over him from all directions and he beat his drum and then it rained. So, and he frightened the life out of himself and said he wouldn't do it anymore. Oh, I think he is rather amazed at some of those things that happened. I remember you 40 years ago and, and, and when I saw you here I thought, oh, he hasn't changed. <laughs> He's taking some magic potion or something, and <laughs> he looks the same. I just, I, I thought you'd be dead. Here we are, aren't you lucky? You came to the right place at the right time on a lovely day at the Gothic Art Centre and the Gothic Wizard outside the Gothic Art Centre. What more could you ask than that? Oh, Gordon just picked up the timing. Readings all. And then I must take photographs. I am now then able to pose. Men don't know they're slaves. They think that they're the boss and they aren't. And I've got to tell men, wake up, you're not the boss. Women are the boss, what if we do? But I'm so pleased about feminism, because feminists are copying men. They come down to our level. At last, they're getting as dumb as men. It's brilliant. Is he easy to live with? Oh, we have arguments. Yes, it is. When Alice goes, it's a fearsome sight, I can assure you. <laughs> well, what's that girl, you know? She does go. Does he still surprise you? Yes, he does still surprise me after all these years, which is probably a good thing. And is there going to be a wedding? Everybody wants to know that. I don't know is the answer to that, whether there will be a wedding. I had hopes 
It's not romantic being a wife or husband, it's very romantic being a fiance. No, I just, I said that I cannot say I love Alice, so I think the idea is that she, I have to show my love by actually doing things rather than saying it, which is too easy. I love you, I love you, all that stuff. I don't like that. It's shallow and doesn't mean much, and they divorce all the time. What I have promised her is, presumably I'm going to go before she does, I'll leave a tape recording which says, I love you, Alice, and she can blow it to herself and I'm gone. It's safe. That's new. Where'd that come from? I haven't heard that before. <laughs>